from right to Dander with Joe Hall inspection. We're doing a sewer scope today here in Clearfield. Today is January 9th, 2024. And we are at I thought I had pulled up. 1186 East Valhalla Drive. Uh, we have the camera pushed out 104 feet. Uh, we are not quite to the city connection. We might be real close, but I'm hitting a blockage in the line. I kind of push my camera up on that uh, piece of debris, and you're going to see how my camera drops down a little bit right there into some waste and water. Um, it would be best to have this line hydro jetted to blast out all that debris and, and find out whether that's just debris stuck in the line creating that blockage or whether it's uh, a collapsed line or an offset. And you can see as I pull my camera back, there's, um, there's several areas that are holding water. I think cleaning it would go a long way. I noticed as I pushed my camera out, there was a lot of debris stuck in the line. Uh, it looks like some of it was maybe pieces of cast iron that have broken off and then settled in the line. Can't quite tell what this is. Um, possibly a sewer clean out, but that rippled section kind of on the right hand side is suspect. Once the line is cleaned, it would be good to have it uh, reevaluated. There's a lot that we can see today, but having it looked at once it's been cleaned is, is also important. I'm going to flush the toilet and clean my camera head off. This area through here is looking okay. trying to figure out what type of pipe this is. There's a chance that it's Orangeburg, which is it's almost like cardboard where it would compress over time. And I've seen some spots where it was, like right there is a good example where it's, where it's almost pinched. Um, it's not very common but it does still exist in some homes. I have a contact I'm going to send a photo of it to to see what his opinion is to see if he thinks it might be Orangeburg. The more I look at it, the more I think it might be. easier to tell what type of pipe it is also once it's cleaned, but in either case I would recommend having it cleaned because it is, um, it does have a blockage, I couldn't see the entire line, uh, you do have debris stuck in the line in standing water. Also looking at how pinched that section is, even if it's not orange for that a lot more than it should be. Uh, 
this is what happens with Orangeburg. It will uh, become pinched over time and it, it becomes a lot smaller than what it should be. Uh, it was not a good type of pipe to have. And this is the homeowner's responsibility until it hits the city line. Um, can't tell if that's a cobweb or if that's a, a hole in the pipe. And then it transitions to cast iron. Uh, cast iron gets real rough and rusty. It will eventually need to be replaced. I would definitely recommend getting the insurance on this line, getting it cleaned now, and then further evaluated while you're still within your due diligence time. Um, if if that is indeed Orangeburg, I think it's warranted to consider a sewer replacement. Um, Orangeburg is not great to have long term, and once it starts to compress, it'll just continue over time. I'm going to end this recording now.